Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at email integration into Teams. By the end of this video, you'll know how to send an email, uh, a brand new one or one you've received, into the Teams so you can continue to collaborate on it there. I'm Gavin Jones, I'm Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company in my day job, and all these tips are things that have come up from a rolling out across the organisation. Hope you find them useful as well. Got a new video coming out on Teams every Tuesday, so remember to hit the subscribe and the bell button to get notified every time a new video comes out. And without further ado, let's have a look at emails. Okay, so at Ignite last week, then Microsoft announced some more integrations with Outlook. And I just wanted to go through this video because you can actually do one of the things they're announcing already so i think one of the announcements is that they're going to put a button into outlook so you can send an email into the team it makes a better ui you can pick the team or the channel that you want the email to go to straight from outlook but you can already do that you just have to go and get the email from teams so we're in the test team and we're actually in the private channel that we set up in the last video which i'll link in the description below uh, but whichever channel it is whether it's private or normal um, if you're in the channel and go up to the top and hit the three dots more options you can get email address you can do that on any team on any channel get email address comes up with a big long uh, email address there that's the specific to that channel hit copy copies that big long list for you and then if you jump into your email you can then paste that into the two bot uh, we can put a test email and it'll send uh, all of the email and any attachments into the team, which we'll have a look at. Um, obviously you can forward any email you receive, so which is why you probably want to do it rather than sending yourself an email to the team. Um, you could just put it straight into the team. Um, but if you've got an email, you can forward it on, copy and paste the email for the channel in hit send and then that'll take a bit of time to go through Outlook out to the server, hit Microsoft server and ping back into the team. But very shortly then that message will show up in the team with all the attachments and you continue to collaborate on it there. Obviously anything you then post in Teams won't go back into the email. It's just say if you wanted an email from a customer, bring it into Teams to collaborate on it and then you'd have to go back into your email to reply to the customer via email, if that was in that example. Some of our guys have got um, themselves tied up in knots because they've been sending an email to a lot of people outside of a team, so hence why they're going back into email, but then they're also putting the channel in the two box or the CC, whichever, uh, in the email that they're sending on but then every time someone replies all on that email thread, it's also then doing a new post into the team. So just a word of warning, I wouldn't include the channel on an email thread with other people in case they do reply all and it comes back into your channel. It's just a mess. So some people might reply to the thing in Teams, and then another reply comes on email, which also goes into the team, uh, just creating split threads and things like that. So. Main use of it is that if you've got a email completely outside of the team and you want to bring it in, just forward it in, only put the channel in the two box, no one else in case they reply all, and it'll pop back up into the channel. Well, okay, so that's interesting. So uh, through the magic of uh, video editing, uh, it, the email didn't pop up in the private channel actually. So we had sent it to test private uh, one and uh, it's not appeared. So I tried to send it on to the testing channel to see if that is what uh, was up with it, whether it's just because it's gone to a private channel. And uh, it appeared in the testing channel pretty much straight away, uh, which is really interesting because I'm not sure it said on Microsoft's documentation that you couldn't email into a private channel. And obviously it still has that um, option in the three dots menu to get an email address for the channel, but it doesn't seem to have appeared in the private channel. Uh, if you have the same thing, let us know in the comments below. And um, yeah, this is what it's looked like when it does actually work. 
You get the email, you can see uh, all of the email thread once it's not too long, and you can always go back to the original email um, and the attachments then uploaded into the team in the files tab and it creates an email messages folder for you to store both the original email and the email attachment um, so you can then continue to collaborate on the file do co-authoring um, and then obviously download it and email it back if you wanted to or just just keep it in teams um, so let's have one last look in the private uh, channel it doesn't seem to have appeared um, so it seems like you can't uh, email into a private channel maybe that's what he, uh, Microsoft will be fixing when the Outlook UI comes as well. But um, if that wasn't ever supposed to be possible, then also uh, let me know in the comments below. So if that was useful, uh, remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already, because we've got a new video coming out on Teams every Tuesday. And remember at me time, we love Teams for increasing collaboration. Uh, I think it's probably some collaboration overload in large companies at the moment. And we are thinking that a meeting timer would go a long way to help solve that problem. So we've got a, meet, a meeting timer app in the iOS app store called MeTime and you can search for it there or visit www.metimeapps.com for any other info you might want. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.